Hey everyone, welcome to another class of Cherry Talk Crafts. I'm Rachel. And I'm Jessica. And today we are learning how to crochet. I'm so excited. I do not know how to crochet at all. So no. Jess is going to be teaching me and teaching you guys too as yep. we go. So yeah, hopefully you're a good speed marker on how fast this class should go. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions or yeah. want to see something again. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure I'm going to yeah. need you to be slow. It, we'll start right from the beginning, uh, picking out some yarn and a hook, and then we'll get into the actual crocheting. Yeah. So I have a pack of hooks, mm -hmm. and they all have like these letters and numbers. So what does that even mean, <laughs> Jessica? Um, so they range from different sizes. It is nice if you want to get a variety pack like this, especially starting out, because you'll end up, you know, you don't, whenever you get different yarn, it, they'll all have different sizes. Um, so generally your yarn will have a, uh, it's like a little picture of a hook and oh. let's see, there's a little hook and then there's both the letter and the number. Um, so this is an H, so that means that this would go, like, you can use this H hook with it. I also kind of say, um, for if, like, it doesn't have the number, a good rule is you can use any hook that's either as wide as your yarn or doubled. So that's kind of like a range. Oh. Does that make sense? No. So, so like, let's see. So this yarn, so I'd say like this would be too skinny. Yeah. So for this yarn, let's see maybe if we get the closer view or this view, it's fine. One of the other views. There we go. This view. There, okay. This view. <laughs> so, so this yarn, it's about as thick <laughs> as this needle or hook. So you could use this thick or double it and let's see how thick is that maybe closer to this so that's your yarn to hook range that you could use okay. with this yarn. here we go larry <laughs> um and you also want to pick a easy yarn that you can see uh, this is a good yarn um, this one, this is a uh, red heart yarn, which is a really good starting yarn. Mm -hmm. um, this one goes with a little smaller hook. But this is some worsted weight yarn. Hmm. Um, you do not want to use yarn like this when you're first starting out. This is very hard to see. I mean, oh, al yeah. already just looking at it's it, so it's so soft, though. I know, but there, so that's why I also pulled out. There are soft yarn options that you can still see with crocheting. This is, this is fur. Yeah. <laughs> Don't use this one. Use yeah. it for something else. Not crochet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that'd be good for knitting. Oh, or if yeah. you're very advanced and want to um, learn it. Or try. We are not try advanced. Best. We're not going no to No advancedness uh, here. So good beginning yarns, some hook neck yarn, red heart yarn is really good. Um, I'll be using this one. It's a little bit thicker, so you can see it a little mm -hmm. easier. Uh, or like this. That's nice. So Cozy. there's a lot of different yarns you can use. Yeah. So you get your yarn, get your variety pack. Um, you can really use a range of hooks with each yarn. It's just how tight or loose your stitches oh. are. So, like, this is a pretty loose stitch. Um, I can stick my fingers through it. It's pretty loose. So, you, so they'd be a, so a this one. this one I used this hook for, which is a lot bigger than this yarn. Okay, that makes sense. So it's a little more airy. But also, when you use a bigger one, you get through your project quicker. I like that. Yeah. I like that idea. You don't want to use too big, though. But, yeah, you can get you can get a little yeah. bigger. Uh, Teresa's here. Hello. Hello. Happy Friday. Glad you guys could join. Sorry we had technical difficulties yeah. earlier. But hopefully, we get to go. Yeah. Okay, so what yarn am I using? 
I, need I think this, this is a good starting yarn. Okay. So this is the red heart yarn, and then you'll be starting with a, um, let's see, this was the E or I, I size, F, I think this was F, F, okay, so there you go, and, um, I'll be using this one, let's see, this one's patrons, and they say you can use, uh, a J or 10, that's their recommended size. What size did I pull out here? Yep, this is a J10. J10. So that's what Holly will use. So we're starting with our yarn. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> and we're going to make a slip stitch. Um, we can see it up a bit. Oh, should we mention the giveaway? Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have a giveaway. Yeah. Um, we thought it'd be good to have a giveaway of a, uh, all you'd need to start your crocheting hobby. Yes, so. we did show this earlier, um, uh, on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, yeah, but, um, if you didn't see it, there is a hook nut hook, hook, hook nut hook, <laughs> hook nut yarn, uh, a starting, um, like, reference guide, so that's, uh, has... The starting steps for if you forget that we're showing today, along with a few other um, stitches, different types of stitches. Mm -hmm. Then we also have in here some skein savers. You can wrap these around your yarn so it doesn't unravel. And then mm -hmm. some little labels you can put on your finished pieces. You say, I made this or handmade. So cute, cute. Yeah. So little something to get you started. Yeah. Leave a comment on this video. Yes, what are they going to cut? It? Um, what are you going to make? Oh, yeah. What are you going to make with you your new crocheting crochet? hobby? Yeah, your new skills <laughs> that hopefully you'll learn today. So, yep, leave a comment and we'll pick a winner on Monday. Yeah. So either live or if you watch the replay. What are you going to crochet? Okay. Let's see. Teresa says she can chain all day. Anything behind that, she's in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Natalie's great grandmother daughter. Okay, what even is a chain? That's just the like chain a, is like your first one, row. One row. It's like your. Um, Why don't we just call it that the then? Why do we have to use confusing words? Uh, you gotta make it. Beginners. You gotta make it fancy, I okay. guess. Okay. okay, so back to our first chain step. or our slip stitch. Slip stitch. So I have the yarn here. And I'm doing like a little loop. Let's see where I am. Switching views. So here I am. I have a little loop like this. I'm going to put my pointer finger in here. Yep. Okay. And give it a turn. Give it a, give give it a turn. turn. So right. I've got one loop here. And then I'm going to grab this. Grab what? The, um, the tail. Okay. And just pull it through. And there's my slip stitch. What? What did I do? That's a knot. <laughs> That's just a knot. Here's my knot slip stitch. See, you want to make a slip what? stitch because then you can um, tighten it around your needle. Oh, yeah. And Okay, um, let's do it good. again. So let's do it again. I so undo it. <laughs> so here it is. You got this. Step one, hold okay, it like this. How are you holding it? This part. You, like wrapped it around i have so it's just like this i've got <laughs> make an s you've got well you more just need a u oh u. so you have your u okay and now i'm just put, putting my hand under it underneath the u okay and my finger right here okay i'm going to give my finger a twist which way are you twisting either way okay twist and then i'm going back up in here back so i can up. grab no, go from no, under. Go from under. No. <laughs> you're coming from top. Go from under. Nope, that's top. There's under. Nope, you already got it twisted. Oh. <laughs> so go from <laughs> under. This whole class, it's going to be me trying to do this first. <laughs> <laughs> the slip knot. Okay. I lost my two. Wait, it's not twisted anymore. Got a twist. Okay. And then we're pinching. Yes. That's just a regular knot. <laughs> okay, let's see. Another way to do slip knot. Oh my 
Okay, so here's where I was showing you before. Okay, don't do a little what faster. I'm doing. Do what Justin's doing. What? <laughs> you guys, this okay, is not a good thing. There's lip knot. Uh, another way, if this one's easier for you, you yeah. can make a pretzel shape. Oh, okay. So, you know, here's your pretzel. Does that make You never made pretzels? Not with yarn. <laughs> or... okay. I figured Here. this would be a funny class, but... Guys, okay, there's your pretzel. I'm, like, super beginner, so... Any other beginners okay. here, let us know. Pretzel. Comment. And then I'm just going to take this side of the pretzel and put it under. This side? So this little corner goes under. Okay. And I'm going to grab this and pull it up. And there's a slip, a slip knot. Let's pull this up. Pull yep. This. Yep, let that one go. Yep. Nope. Yep. And there's your giant slip knot. All right, guys. But then you can, um, you can make it smaller again. Okay. So there's... Apparently I needed the pretzel away. Yeah. Pretzel away. We good? Now mine's too tight. Okay. See there. Got there it. you go. Got there's it. your slip knot. So I'll show that way again. The pretzel. <laughs> so we made a pretzel. Oh my goodness. Tucked this little corner underneath here and pull this side up. Oh. Okay. So there's the one got that. Um one other way, if you already know how to cast on, nope. you can do it um just by holding your hook and wrapping it around twice and starting a chain. Um it's if you let it go at this point, it would fall apart, but you can just keep going, and then it will stay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Well, so now we've got our slip knot. Let's start with <laughs> going with the train. No, I was never a Girl Scout. No. <laughs> Zero training here. <laughs> okay. So now you can put your slip knot onto mm -hmm. your hook and okay. tighten it. Tight. Um, when making a chain... Uh, this is like your first row and it's easy to make it really tight, especially when you are a beginner. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to try to do this as loosely as you can. Okay. Um, if you keep making super tight a super tight chain, you can go for a bigger needle for your chain oh. and then switch back to your regular size needle okay. for the rest of it. But for a chain, all that you're doing is you have your slip knot on here. Mm -hmm. I'm holding it down my hand just so that tail is out of the way mm -hmm. and my working yarn that's connected to my ball mm -hmm. is right here mm -hmm. um so i'm going to wrap this around so i've got my working yarn just wrapped around and then i'm taking the uh knot in the back here and sliding it over it my knot's too tight <laughs> you can still loosen it that's okay. that's the nice thing with the slip knot. Oh, I was okay. starting slip knot. So you I can make it. I take it over. Wait, I have to say it more. Man, you made it look so easy. And okay, then so now I take this over what? Over that? Over. Yep. Yeah. So you you use the hook part to kind of stick this um, top yarn in, and you use that to help you. Pull it over. This? Can I do that? Yeah. <gasps> you did it. I made a stitch. Okay. So, and then you just keep going for how many ever stitches you want. Okay. So, Let's you want to do, do it, it again? again? Oh, yes. So, here I am. Um, this could be your slip knot right at the beginning or in the middle of your chain. Um, so, this is the same thing as your slip knot. I just have a little tail started. Uh, and then you wrap your yarn around your hook, and you're going, I like to pinch it, pinch this knot at the bottom, yeah. and pull it over. Pull it over. Pull it over. Pull it over. There you go. Mine doesn't really work. It, it, does, it takes right? part. Yeah, it's all right. Um, it's kind of tight. Oh. Uh, but yeah, it's good. Okay. You 
So then just keep practicing. So I'm I'm pulling like the same little loop over every time. Yep. Okay. Yep. I see. So wrap it over and pull it through. Wrap it over. Pull it through. See, this is getting the chain going. Oh, you guys. I'm crocheting. <laughs> I can't start it because I can't do a slip knot, but <laughs> slip ditch. I can do a slip knot. Well, and like I was saying, once you know how to do the um, the casting on here, yeah. you can easily uh, skip the slip knot if that's causing you trouble. It's causing me trouble. And just start by jumping right into your uh, chain. Hmm. Just like that. Okay. So then it's going to take some practice of like how tight to kind of pull it. Yeah. Because you can see mine's like I, very yeah. uneven. <laughs> um, you want it, you want to be able to see some holes mm -hmm. through your um, chain here because that's where you're going to be putting your knee or your hook back into on your oh, next rows. Okay. <laughs> Teresa, you're very encouraging. Thank you. <laughs> I can't. How's the chain coming? It's coming. It's coming. That's a chain. It's a little, yeah. it's a little loosey goosey, but. And yeah, if your chain isn't looking that great, you can always just slip your hook off. Oh, I don't want to take it off. And pull it through. <gasps> Magic. And now you can redo whatever. Okay, um, so maybe I should start again to get a better, or maybe or should I keep going? Is that too loose? No, I think that looks good. Yeah, you could keep going. Look at that, guys. Look at it's coming together. Look at my little bracelet. It could be a oh, bracelet. Oh, it could. Yep. Oh. I'm just going to do one line and that's all I'm going to do because I don't want to learn to... All the, the other next, crazy The next fancy row things. is a little tricky. Oh, no. Um, trickier. <laughs> it's just trickier. Oh. It's not. It's just, there's a couple more steps, but getting down this first chain stitch of, uh -huh. um, and getting used to pulling these, uh, the back pieces of yarn off the hook is just good practice. Okay. I'd even say you could make a really long chain just to practice okay. and then take it out and then chain again the length of your actual project I'm just just, just make, to like, practice chains a medium chain <laughs> yeah i don't know oh see now i'm getting a little bit tighter mm. oops not fine <laughs> which camera are we doing <laughs> this one okay we have it over here i'm getting a little bit tight and your so. chain is also a um, row that has less give than your others, which is also why you need to make it a little uh, looser. So here's a working piece. So down here's where I had my chain, and it doesn't have as much stretch to it as the rest of this does. Um, so you want to make it uh, loose enough to where it looks like it will match the rest of the piece. Mm. Okay. All right. Do you guys have any questions? Ask away. That's where you said that hers are too loose. Okay. Um, so if it's too loose, I'd still say that's a better problem to have than too tight. Mm -hmm. But uh, to make it a little tighter, just tighten up your uh, yarn before you, you know, move. Like pull it off. Pull it off your hook. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did something there. What's that? Um, that's just a loose one. Oh. Yep. Are there patterns you can follow with crocheting? Yes. There are tons and tons and tons. Um, so yeah, gloves, hats, sweaters, blankets, afghans, and then there's also a ton of different knitting stitches or crocheting stitches. Uh, we will be just going over the single stitch, which is like your basic starting stitch, but um, does it matter which way yeah. around you go? No, 
Oh. Whatever feels more natural. Uh, I always just go from the now back. Because now I forgot which way I was doing it. Yeah, I would just say whatever you started with, just keep it through so it Oops. looks consistent. My um, like too but big. yeah, if it feels more natural for you to wrap your yarn around the front of your hood, yep, that's fine. I'm going to shorten mine a little bit. Are you ready for next row? I don't know. I'm a little scared. Got a good chain going. Got a good chain. It's a bracelet. It's the only thing I can make. Um, <laughs> so you should be able to count out your stitches on your chain. Um, so you can see when I lay it out. Maybe you can see. But there will be little holes, and that's what I'll be putting my hooks through. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have twelve chains on this for twelve little loops. I think I have 19 or 20. Okay. So it's good to know how many you're starting with, uh -huh. uh, just so you're not adding on or taking away, because that's when you get shapes uh, that kind of go like that. So if I'm starting with 12, my next row, I want to have 12. You want me to count mine again to make sure then? So I'm counting just all the little yep. things in here. So one, two, three. Nope, see now, these are too tight. Um, right, are these too tight? I, you want to be able to easily slide your hook into them. Mm -hmm. If they're too tight, so I can still get the hook pretty oh, okay. easily into that. If you can't easily get your hook in, this one's a little tight mm -hmm. where I have to struggle a little bit. I still can, but if, oh, how about this one? This one looks kind of tight. If there's too much struggle getting the hook in, then maybe try it a little looser. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as you can get your hook in though, it should be fine. Okay. okay. So, so does that mean you're ready for second I row? Guess. Let's do it. Second okay. row. So here we are at the end of our chain. Okay. And what I'll be doing is sticking my hook into this first uh, so I'm skipping the one that my hook is in right now, mm -hmm. but then going to this next hole. So one of those things that we just counted. Mm -hmm. So I've got I it. Go I've got it in. in. I just, however, feels good. And then I'm going to take the yarn and wrap it around. Whichever way feels more comfy to wrap it around. And then, like how we did with the chain, we're going to pull the first, just the first loop off. Okay, so you should have... <laughs> you should have... <laughs> two, thing just came two, <laughs> you should have two on there. Um, we can do that again. Oh, yeah. Yep. So okay. here we are. Here's my first loop. First loop, I'm getting my little second guy, sticking it in there. Okay, and I wrap so you should you should have two loops on your on your needle or yes. hook right now, right? Yes. Okay. And then you wrap your yarn around. Okay. So now it's you have three. No, I still have two. So wrap your yarn around. I did that again. Oh, is that what you I wrapped did? the wrong yarn around? Whoa. <laughs> So take take that second one off there. That's not a good one. <laughs> okay. So okay, here we are. Here we are. Uh, tighten your stitch up. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's funny. yeah. Right. It's so okay. now you can stick it in. Stick it in. Okay. So I, I have my yep. second loop on there. Okay. 
And now wrap, wrap it around. around. So you should have your three. Okay, now I have three. And then I bring my And then you bring your over. second one over. So now you have two. Two. Wrap it around again. Oh, again. Okay. And take both both, uh, both off. Both. Yeah. Both. How? What, and this one stays on? Yep, and the one you last wrapped around, ah. it stays on. Hmm. Use the hook part to your advantage. So, yep, there! Your first stitch, and this is the single stitch. <laughs> this is like the most basic thing. And... Wow. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay. Now Ooh, we're going to do the same thing. It's not, you got your first single stitch done. Yep. Go on to single stitch number two. Okay. Going in the very next hole. Okay. So okay. here's my next hole. Cool. This is the one I just worked in. If I pull it up, um, that's the one that I see gets a little bigger. Mm -hmm. So that's the one I just worked in. So I'm going to the one right next to it. This yep. one. So there, stick it in there. Mm -hmm. And now same thing. I have two mm -hmm. on my hook. I wrap around. And bring the second one over. Bring the yep, bring the second one over. Mm -hmm. Or the first one, you know. Okay. And then wrap and then wrap around, and wrap around again. again and take off both. There. <gasps> Does that look right? It looks very crazy. It looks crazy. <laughs> um, I think keep going. Keep going. You're, when you're first learning, you cannot expect your first project or little square or whatever you're making to look uh, like, right? It's not going to look like a square. It's going to look like a Blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, so now I'm gonna like go into my third now hole. Now go into your third hole. Yeah. Okay. So here's the hole Maybe I I'm just going into in. it wrong. Am I going into it wrong? Do I like go this way? No, so hey, on your funny. chain, you should be able to see um so here I was trying to split it apart a little bit. So here's like the middle of the chain. At the top of the chain, it's just a one piece of yarn. And on the bottom, there's like two that are kind of twisted. Mm. We're just sticking the hook into the top. Oh. So that's how you'll know if um you're sticking it into like the top or the bottom. Okay. You want just the one in the top. Well, I might have did my other ones wrong then. <laughs> <laughs> well, that could be why it looks funny. <laughs> Keep it going though. Oh, Keep goodness. it going. Okay. So okay. here we are. I've got I just stuck it into my third hole. And I'm going to wrap around. Now I have three. Yeah, I think it exactly well, makes the ones. <laughs> you can also always take off the stitches. I so might I might need to do that. Take your um <laughs> take your hook out and just pull. And also, when you're pulling it, you can see if there were problems, if there's knots, or if it's really hard to pull. You might have done something wrong. If it's super easy, mm. you didn't do anything oh, too bad. It was easy. Oh, you didn't do anything too bad. Okay. You probably just went in the bottom. Yeah. So I think that's what I did. Yeah. Okay. So then, that's it. So here we are, just with the chain, okay. going into that single stitch. Stick it in. Wrap around. Pull off one, wrap around, pull off two, into the second loop. Here we are, wrapped around, pull off one, wrap around, pull off two. Two. Oh, that looks like that something. better. I think that yeah. looks better. Okay. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Okay. 
All right, so I did that one, so now I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm. And wrap around. Go over my second. Accept it. See? I did something wrong. No, I think you're fine. Um, so, yep, just pull over your one. And take off that. And now wrap around and pull off two. Oh. There. Now you're ready for your third hole. No, it still looks funny. Um, yeah. Just keep it going, though. Okay. And just keep it going. It might just look a little funny when you're just starting it. Um, because your row isn't too defined yet. Um, so I just, if it's looking funny, just go a little bit more and see if it starts to straighten out. If it still stays funny, you can redo it. Or you can just keep going because it's just a practice. And see how much you've learned by the time you get to the end. Great. How are you guys doing? Are you... <laughs> Are you doing along with us? Are you failing like me? <laughs> this is, I mean, it, you can get it, but it's still kind of tricky. Yeah. To get it just right. So here I am almost at the end of um, my row. So I'm going to do my last row here. And then to turn, I'm just, so I was just working this way with my you know, my project in the back here. Just gonna flip it. What? And ready to flip. go back <laughs> the other way. Maybe time after I finish this row, I'll be in time with your You can do like flip. a whole row while I do yeah. one. So here I am. Stitch. I just flipped it. My working yarn here is still in my left hand. I pulled it in the back in the left hand. And I'm going to stick it into this first row. If you want, at this point, you could count out your stitches again. Make sure you still have the same amount as your first row. One, two, three, I don't know. Four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eleven. So hopefully that was the same as my first row. <clears throat> Might have taken off a couple when I was redoing it. So here I am. It's just going into this first little loop here. Uh, with the second row, there's like a little V, so I'm poking it into the V that's closest to me. Oh, how's that going? This is how it's going. Tighten, tighten it up a bit. I tried. See, that's when you know, when you can't <laughs> easily pull it off, that's when you know something happened. So let's see. I don't know what happened. You've got like a bunny thing going on. <laughs> I'm making it my new pattern here. Okay, so all you did, you forgot this piece mm -hmm. when you were looping it around. But yeah, your first two look good. Oh. Uh, you also skipped a stitch oh. uh, in your chain. So right there is the next one you want to go into. Okay. This one? Yep. around there you go there nice okay look at that little blob look at that little blob we need a cute little blob <laughs> soon <laughs> enough you'll have a sweater <laughs> soon enough i would have like not a sweater not a sweater no. Okay. A little. Now we go back to Half showing. Maybe to... I could do like a finger yeah. on a mitten. Oh, or a little finger warmer. Yeah, that sounds too hot. <laughs> okay, so back for going into your second row. I'm sticking this into one of the um, loops on my V. Sticking it in. Wrapping it around, and from here, it's the same exact stitch. So, 
and stick it in, wrap around, pull off one, wrap around, pull off oh, two. I did something bad. I do Why? I don't know what I have. I think it's just loose. It's too loose. Yeah. Well, I try pulling it and then it's not it's not if tightening. Then you or did something. Then you did something. <laughs> so you keep forgetting to pull this one off. You oh. gotta pull this one off. What? That is tight. Okay, so I'm going to just shrink that down a little bit. Okay, stick it back in there. Hmm. Hmm. And then going in. Going in your next loop. This one. Mm hmm. You're gonna right grab there. it, and then I bring this one over. Yep. There. And then I wrap it. Yep. Whoops. Wrap it. it. And then pull the both off. Okay. Yeah. And now tighten it back and onto the next one. Here I am. Still very blobby. Wrap around, pull off one. Wrap around, pull off two. Okay, so where are we going next? I'm going into this. Nope. This one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is tricky. And people can make things out of this? Mm. Ooh. Oh, I've seen some cute. very cool things made by both crocheting and knitting. Did Grandma know how to crochet? Or yep. she um, she did, she did both. both. Grandma taught me how to crochet, and then I learned how to knit from a book. Hmm. So that's why I like teaching um, how to crochet first, because I don't know if it's just because I learned to crochet first, so then I feel like I use more of that in knitting. Hmm. Knitting is also a little trickier in some ways because you've got two needles going mm -hmm. rather than the one and if you lose a stitch on a needle um you bad things happen <laughs> very things quickly happen. where if you lost your hook on a crochet hook on a crochet piece you might just lose a couple stitches but it's usually not too bad okay wow i'm making like a circle <laughs> <laughs> so if it's starting that. to circle um that's because you made your bottom row too tight Compared to your top row, which is a little, a lot looser, so it's a little turning into a circle. Maybe I want a circle. I mean, I it'll don't know. it'll eventually straighten out. It's just um, it could kind of have a smaller face and get a little bit wider, but even out. Okay. So it just kind of looked like that. Okay. Now where's my next one? So I get so turned around, like that yeah. I don't stop holding it. So your next one, keep this in your right hand, oh. and your next hole, I think these are your section of tight ones. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, you just like kind that. of, yep, just kind of get in there. Squeeze your way in. Okay. So, very important to keep your first ones kind of looser. Mm-hmm. Because... Yeah, it's very hard to keep. Yeah, I feel like the keeping the first row, your chain, loose is the hardest, maybe, for beginners, at least that I've seen. Yeah. Uh, I feel like beginners always make a tight chain, which makes the rest of it a little harder. Yep. Which I'm seeing that now. Switch to this hook. See if that's easier to see, maybe. So I'm just continuing here with my single stitch. Stick it in, take it off, stick it in, take both of them off. And this is really like a good foundation stitch. So from here you can do the double stitch, triple stitch. Whoa. Or Both then there's fancy. there's more like lacy stitches, or you can skip a stitch and then add two in the next row, and that's how you get like some waves happening. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so there's a lot of things you can do. I'm getting waves already. Yeah, without even knowing it. What stitch are you on? <laughs> advanced. Such an advanced beginner stitch. Of two tiger two loose. <laughs> oh goodness. Good. This is a good hobby for like watching TV or if you're in like a conversation but you just want to do something with your hands. Oh, yeah. That's what I like. Well, do. once you get going. Or, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah, right now it's Right now I can barely full concentration talk while doing this. <laughs> After you do a few hundred stitches, yeah. You'll it'll get easier. You get to the point where you don't even have to look at it as you're going. You just feel the stitches. Hmm. Well, we won't be getting to that point anytime <laughs> soon. Look at, my little, look at my little rectangle. Aw, so cute. <laughs> it's a smile. It's a smile. Okay, so we'll, we can probably stop here, yeah. right? I mean, really, yeah. it's just, you just keep going. So when, yeah, you just, you just keep it going. Um, if I wanted to finish, like if I was at the very end of my piece, all I would do is take my hook out of the hole. Mm -hmm. um, I would cut this string and thread it through, which would tight the, tighten this. Um, and then, there you go. You make it look so easy. There I am. I've got this. So there's my loop I was working in. I took my hook out. Uh, I would cut this string. I'm not going to cut it now because that's not the end. But I'd cut that string and just pull it through here and tighten it down. And that's how you'd end it. So. All right. Now I, you guys all know yeah. how to crochet, right? Yeah. Let us know how that class went. If you're going to keep crocheting, or if you need a part two or something, it's probably practice, practice your chain, and then practice that single stitch a lot. You can rewatch this. Hopefully we went slow enough. Rachel's kind of getting it. It'll look funny. It will look funny, it but you just, look funny. just keep going with it, and eventually... You'll either get sick of it and stop doing it, or hopefully it starts coming starts together. Like yeah. Instead of like it, a little bob. There is a bit of a learning curve for this. You're getting, like, I feel like every other stitch or so, you're, like, doing a really good stitch. But then every once in a while, like, you throw a little knot in there. <laughs> Why? Why am but I? But you're getting there. You're getting Why there. Why is this different than this? Why is what? The the chain? My first chain, yeah. Because I'm just the, going down. You're just going down your chain. Oh, I see. So here's the top row you're going down. It's just hard to see with my With your shape. little your little smile. <gasps> Alright. Well thanks for joining. Yes. And remember to comment for the giveaway of what you're gonna what crochet. You're, yep. If you are going to crochet just a little a little chain? practice square. Yeah, you That's can fine. chain, practice square. Um, if you're feeling sweater. I don't, sweater. I recommend when you're starting, just make a square. Make a dishcloth. I can't even do that. <laughs> make a little wipe off Make towel. a little moon. Yeah. Make just a practice. Let yourself just practice and know it's going to get tossed. Yes. Because, yeah. First thing you make isn't going to be that good. Yeah. Practice makes progress. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Any other tips or advice? Good luck. Go slow. Um, watch make again. It, make it looser. Yeah. That's what I didn't do very well. Yep. Uh, if it's really not working out, pull it out and start over. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Well, Thanks we'll see you. And see you next week. Yeah. Bye. I'll be cherry boxing. Oh, yeah. Unboxing cherry box. That's so fun. Yeah. yeah. So, see you then. Bye. Bye.